Mr Draper, it's your turn, it appears, this week. We've done the police last time. Now we come and see you. Your budgets are being cut, I believe, for the second year in succession. What, what are you telling us today? What is going to go? Um, the budget implications for the Fire and Rescue Service for the forthcoming year, which is 2012-2013, will be a reduction of £221,200. What's that mean in people? Um, what that means is we've had a, a complete review of how we do business and, and all facets of the Fire and Rescue Service, um, but as part of the reduction in budget, what we will be doing is reducing overall headcount by three persons. This is on top of the current year which has seen some reductions? Yes, the current year that we're in, um, we are, are aiming to achieve a, an overall reduction of £266,000. So how many people this year? In this financial year is uh, three staff So, as so well. you're going to lose six in, in two years? Six over the two years. You can get rid of firemen, can you? Not like policemen who are, are crown workers. You, you, you can actually dismiss or uh, make them redundant, should I say? No. Uh, on this occasion, on, in, with respect to both years, we have not made anybody uh, redundant. Um, we have taken every opportunity where we've uh, had retirements, right. planned retirements coming up. Um, we will be doing it through um, natural retirement. Programs. So what happens to recruitment? Because obviously people normally join the fire service, are you putting a freeze on that? Not at this stage because, very importantly, we have a succession plan. We have a 20-year succession plan in place and we have to stay on track with the succession plan. But what we've been able to do, for example, in this current financial year, a total of seven officers are leaving the service. But what we've actually done is take four on. Right. So we will have trained firefighters still coming through the system being progressed into their two-year probation and then four years to become fully qualified. But what we are able to do is use forecasted retirement as a, as a means of achieving the savings. You're going to be a smaller organisation, therefore less of you. Will that put people's lives at risk? I don't believe so because what we've done is we've looked to minimise the impact of this. If we take the, the six staff overall, three of those will come from the whole time service, two of which are managerial posts, and three of them will come from the retained service. Now the retained service provide fire and rescue cover throughout the whole of the island based in six fire stations. So we have taken three staff, we haven't taken them out, what's happened is three retirements have taken place at various stations around the island and we have sought not to replace.